Have you got a couple of SSDs that you've pulled out from an old device or old laptop and you're trying to either repurpose them for your new PC build or just trying to get the data off them? Well, don't worry because I've got a couple of products here that might be able to help you out. Hello everyone, this is Mike here from Saverin. And if you enjoy tech videos and tech related videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated. So right over here, we have the M.2 SSD to SATA two and a half inch enclosure. So as it says over here, this easily converts an M.2 NGFF solid state drive to a standard two and a half inch SATA three, six gigabit per second SSD. So let's open this up and let me talk you through some of the key features of this product. So first we have the adapter itself and then housed in this section over here we have a screwdriver and some included screws. As you can see this enclosure is made really really well. It's made of aluminum and it's just really high quality. To get inside it, there's a pull tab. All that you do, just pull it as the name suggests, and then it reveals the M.2 connector, as well as some places for you to screw in your SSD because this has capabilities of installing all different types of M.2 SATA SSDs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install an SSD into this adapter. So you wanna grab one of your, you know, recycled or even new SSDs and you wanna pop that in a 45 degree angle and then you wanna place that down and as you can see, the screw hole is just over here. Then we want this screw to attach the SSD to the adapter. I'm just using the included screwdriver because obviously it does a good job. And then you wanna grab the two halves and just close it together, making sure that the cutout aligns with the SATA connector. Then we want to grab four of the smaller screws and we wanna insert them in the screw holes around the adapter. So there's two on each side, so two over here and then two over here, and then that securely places the SSD inside the adapter. And there you go, all completed. Now you should be left with one screw left, and this screw is just in case you've lost one of the screws for installing the SSD. So that's how to install an M.2 SATA SSD into our SATA enclosure, and it's all ready for your PC. But let's say you want to connect it directly to your PC using USB. Well, you could buy one of our Sabrent adapters, or alternatively, you can actually buy the USB version of this. So let me show you that. So this product over here is very similar to our previous one. However, this one has a micro USB 3.0 connection. So let me open up the packaging and show you what this includes. So there's a little bit more going on here. So first of all, we've got the same screws that was included in the other one, as well as the same screwdriver. And then we have the USB cable. This is a Sabrin branded cable. And as you can see, it comes with the micro connector and the USB type A connection on the other end. This is a nice thick cable and definitely gonna be durable for anything that you throw at it. And then let me show you the adapter because it is literally the same as the other one, except for the fact that this has a micro USB connection, meaning that when paired with this cable over here, you don't actually have to use a SATA connector. You can just literally plug it in using the micro USB cable that we supply you with directly to the USB port on the back of your computer. So to install the SSD into this adapter, all that you need to do, again, just pull on the plastic tab, and then this reveals the connector. Again, open up the bag of screws that are supplied with the adapter and use the larger one to install the SSD. Grab your SSD and place it in the connector at a 45 degree angle and then push in. And then using the included screwdriver and screw, just install the SSD into the adapter. Nice and simple, right? And then just close it all up, making sure that the connector is lined up with the cutout and repeat the process by screwing in the four smaller screws into the screw holes. So in blue beta style, here's a few that I've made earlier. So these have got either the USB adapter or just the standard SATA connector. 
So let's talk some of the specifications regarding these adapters. So as long as your SSD is formatted in the correct format, this should work perfectly with both Mac, Windows and Linux, no problems at all. And I've tested out on all of them. Also, these support an M.2 form factor of 22 by 42, 22 by 60 and 22 by 80. Just to let you know that this only supports B and BNM key SSDs. This won't support PCI Express SSDs. So if you are looking to bring back some life to those old SSDs, then make sure to grab these adapters. And if you wanna grab some data off of those SSDs easily, then make sure to grab our USB version of this adapter as it just makes the whole process so simple. If you wanna grab them, then I'll leave some links down in the description below for you to go ahead and buy them. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to hit that like button and make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys stay updated. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.